Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Is today the beginning of the end of the preseason promo? That's what I want to talk about because we are heading into week four of preseason. I do think that we might get some more FIFA 23 packs and rewards to grind towards today via the same kickstart and warm-up objectives that we have seen in the past three weeks of preseason. I also think that we could have some more objective and SBC transfer players. We only have one leak as of right now when I'm recording this video, but I also just want to enter the conversation of we are getting that close to FIFA 23. It might be the time where EA Sports says, okay, this is the last week of this promo in terms of content, even though the cards that are in packs are still available for a whole nother two weeks. Could this be like the last week of the live content before they start releasing FIFA 23 ratings officially, the database, talking about the web app with new pitch notes and stuff like that. We might be getting towards the end and this might be the last new content promo Friday that we have of the year. So I want to talk about that a little bit and of course a lot of kind of stuff in the balance right now with Premier League football and that especially impacts this showdown SBC. I know there's an impending announcement of maybe the cancellation of some games because of the passing of Queen Elizabeth. RIP Queen Elizabeth. I'm not in the UK, but I completely understand that that is a big thing that is impacting a lot of the football world and just a lot of people around the world. So definitely want to show my respect there, but that could have impacted some football this weekend and even inside of FIFA could have some impact. So we'll maybe talk about that just a little bit, not to try to spread too much light around something that is pretty sad, of course, but I want my Paris to be upgraded. I want to know if Spurs and City are going to play. That's the kind of thing where that's the motivation that we're going to speak out of today in regards to those upgrade cards that we're expected to play tomorrow. We'll just have to see. So a lot to talk about today. We'll try to keep it concise in a short Friday video. But if you're enjoying the videos, make sure to hit the thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Now, why could today be the beginning of the end? That's what I want to talk about first. Well, it's not over just yet. Let's start off by talking about that because if you take a look at the Kickstart online friendly objectives, this uh, objective is still available for a whole nother week. That to me is a dead giveaway that EA is going to release more packs available via objectives. The preseason cup is also available for a whole nother week. Now this won't be resetting today on Friday. This will be tomorrow on Saturday as the preseason cups kind of have been going. But to me, this feels like we're in the last week because a lot of times when EA do these longer promos, four weeks or five weeks is as long as it goes. And if you think about in this next week, we should be getting, as we talked about in yesterday's FIFA 23 dates video, go check that out if you have not, we should be getting information on ratings, official ratings releases, maybe the foot database coming out in the next seven days from now, maybe even news about the foot web app or the pit launch pitch notes that they often release uh, in around the same time as this next week. So I'm really curious if EA is going to start to transition over to be fully FIFA 23 content because, you know, they start to get on a one track mind once we get towards the end of the year and they start focusing on that brand new game and they really kind of leave behind the old game. And as you've seen them do in the past couple of days, we have a unlimited repeatable 95 plus uh, shapeshifters player pick. They're starting to release more SBCs, unlimited, repeatable, and that to me seems that EA is saying, okay, we're going to put these out, unlimited, repeatable, do them as much as you can, and that way we can just kind of leave it and forget about it, right? Now, I know some of these are expiring, like the preseason batch two player pick is expiring today, the 95 plus is expiring in a couple days, it's probably just going to be re-upped, we'll have to see, but that's, again, I do think that we will get content today on a Friday related to new FIFA 23 rewards. I know some of you guys are like, that's the only reason I'm playing this game right now is I'm trying to get some FIFA 23 packs. Now, if you take a look at the schedule, right? There's kind of been a, there's kind of been a little bit of a, you know, week one and week three were pretty similar. Now, week two was the 50K pack. You guys might remember where in the kick, in the, the live foot friendly kickstart foot 23, we didn't have the specific nation or league packs like we had in week one and week three. In week two, we had a 50,000 coin rare players pack available as the group reward. 
that could come back today. Imagine having not one, but two 50K packs in the first two weeks of FIFA 23. That's a fat W. So hopefully that returns today. That would be like one last great grind to go out and maybe complete some objectives, score in those three games and get that 50K pack. I would be a big fan of that. I think a lot of you guys would be as well. That'd give us a little bit of something to do. That's not too hard because let's be honest, these kickstart games, some people play in golden goal. And if they don't, all you have to do is score. It's not about winning. EA is making it very, very easy. So hopefully another 50K pack coming today. And then also the warm up pack. I mean, that's just really, really easy. It doesn't give the greatest rewards, but it's still worth doing because all you have to turn in for it is a bronze squad. So watch out for that objective and that SBC to be refreshed today because both of that objective and the SBC are expiring. So that's something that I would watch out for today for sure. Now, also today in SBCs, let's continue the conversation here. Raheem Sterling is going away. First of the transfer SBCs from last week to expire. We only have one leaked player right now. And I was talking about this earlier in the week. I was like, man, I'm surprised we have no leaks because unless the content's really stopping, why do we not have any leaks about a transferred player? There's plenty more transferred players that could still be dropped, right? We only have one as of right now that we know about, and that is Kula Bali is added to come via preseason player soon. Kind of interesting, of course, with the whole Chelsea situation with Tuchel and now Graham Potter coming in. You know, very interesting situation. Sterling last week, Kula Bali this week. We've had so many great center backs. I mean, let's name them off. Rudiger, Kunde, Diego Carlos. There's been a lot of great center backs released, transfer cards and showdowns. This is another one adding into the mix. This card's going to be incredibly cracked as well. Hopefully it's pretty cheap. Hopefully it's easy to do. It should be, but I'm just a little bit surprised that this is the only leaked card that we have right now. This almost feels like you know, it's probably going to be an SBC, but it could be an objective, maybe. But I feel like it's going to be an SBC. And unless we have more players leaked, which again, as, as I said, I do feel like there is a potential for some more player leaks early today on Friday because we have Mane, we have Dybala. The same trend has been they release three player SBCs Friday, Saturday, Sunday, maybe Monday, and then it's done. If they're only going to release one today on Friday and then leave us hanging for the rest of the weekend, that would be a bit of a bummer. So watch out for some more leaks. Hopefully we get a few more of those. Uh, again, there's so many other players that they could release for transfer SBC cards, right? We're talking guys like Chow Many with his move to Real Madrid. It was very early in the window, right? Like, I'm surprised that Chamani has not gotten a Real Madrid card yet. He's got his gold card in the game. EA Sports, give us a transfer SBC. That'd be a great card. Hey, how about Richarlison? Or how about Anthony, right? Anthony is probably one of the latest signings and would be a bit tougher for EA Sports maybe to get the rights for him in. I don't even think he has a Premier League card yet. Like his, his transfer card is not added into the game yet. But it's not impossible. We've seen it before. Um, after a quick turnaround, EA can put those transfer cards in. But Richarlison, Anthony, Chamani, so many other names that they could be releasing of transfer cards. Just do it, EA Sports. Why not? It's the end game. These SBCs have been cheap and good value and great stats anyway. Just release them all, right? A couple more would be great. So watch out for that today. Also, I will say, of all the last three weeks of the preseason promo, and Dombele was not leaked, Gabriel Jesus, I forget who the other objective card was, but these guys uh, have not been leaked at all, the objective card. So we still could get an objective player transfer card today. Uh, that'd be something to watch out for as well, besides the ones that we expect and maybe see leaked through SBC. So, you know, I still think it's going to be a, for preseason. I feel like it's going to be a pretty normal promo Friday today. Of course, last week I was not around for it, but we did have the preseason badge too. And that of course induced some hype because there was just way more cards and packs and you were able to go finish your Neymar, your Salah, your Mendy, your Griezmann, whatever SBC you were doing because they put the captains and all those other special cards and packs. So nothing changes with the cards in packs today. It's really all just about what kind of SBCs we're gonna be able to craft and go and do um, as we're still doing 10, 85 times 10s per day. This SBC does not refresh until Monday, I believe. Two days and 14 hours would take us to Monday, right? Or would that, that would actually take us to Sunday. Oh, wow, they these timers changed, I think, a little bit. So it looks like a lot of this stuff is expiring on Sunday. The 85 times 10, the 95 plus shapeshifter player pick, um, the 82 plus player pick goes away on Saturday. The 90, everything is expiring in two days. So maybe if we don't see any other leaks besides Kula Bali, 
or maybe it's just like one other leak, then EA is really trying to end this promo and kind of be done with preseason uh, over this weekend. And, you know, that could be something that we think about as well. And then early next week, they start with the FIFA 23 content in terms of ratings and the posts. And that's when they kind of like switch gears. Because I remember last year as well, there was a definite time in the game where EA like switched the gears and they went from 22, 21 to 22 in their posts. I mean, they're, start, they're already posting about FIFA 23, but there was a clear change. They're like, okay, now it's time to get serious about FIFA 22 last year. So maybe they'll do the same thing this year with FIFA 23. Now, the other thing that's in question, and we mentioned it a little bit at the beginning of the video and talking about it a bit, is this showdown SBC. Now, I've seen a lot of stuff on Twitter. I don't know much about this. I'm not from the UK, again, like I mentioned, but with the queen passing, again, RIP, definitely not something that should be you know uh made memes about and, and talked about in a, in a way to make jokes i know i've seen a lot of stuff on twitter and it's kind of it's kind of terrible if i'm being completely honest uh because all that that situation deserves is respect i mean if you read into it what if you're a casual like me you don't know much or if you're in the uk you know it's going to hit everybody and it's going to impact everybody this weekend especially if you're a fan of the premier league because of the potential of games being canceled slash postponed um, and of course that opens up a whole bag of questions for like what's the postponement going to look like but of course for us in the here and now that would affect the Perisic and the Alvarez cards because if games are postponed that means that these teams would not play on Saturday tomorrow and that these cards would not get upgraded so that's a bit of a downer from this whole situation if there are some cancellations. If there's not, again, I'm recording this late Thursday night, early Friday morning. I don't know, have not seen the details yet, have not seen any tweets about it from official sources. So we will just have to see what happens here. Of course, once we get that news, then we'll know. Uh, but that's kind of all that there is to that. Now, let's talk market just for a tiny bit. You might be like, Nate, why are we talking market? It's September. You guys know if you want to buy a card, if you want to use a card, just use the card. Go buy it off the market. Some prices that I'm seeing have actually gone up a little bit on some of these cards. Ginola, 740. Messi's high, 1.7s. Conte's 1.4. Ronaldo is 1.8 mil. But we're really most worried about fodder, right? Uh, I don't think there's going to be much tradable supply today. Um, I, I mean, I guess the one thing we'd be looking out for today is... You remember two weeks ago with this objective, the warm-up objective, EA released the 85 times 10 and it did not say untradeable down below here. Maybe something small to look out for today would be to see if they make the one that they released this week. If they do this objective again, make it tradable or that if they don't signify untradeable, that could be something that could bring some tradable supply to the market. But really, uh, you know, all we have to look forward to this weekend in terms of tradable supplies, weekend league rewards, which again, if you're still playing weekend league, you have that extended time frame to go ahead and get your games done all the way until Wednesday with the 48 hour extension, which of course is nice, uh, but I just have no motivation to play it, which is completely fine. And if you don't, that's fine too, because it is the end. And a lot of you guys are taking breaks and I completely understand that. But you know, the biggest piece of content that we're looking out for today is what are the rewards that they're gonna give us? If they give us another 50K pack to grind for FIFA 23, then that will be absolutely worth it to come back on the game, the game grind for a little bit and get those packs done and save that up. And then of course, redeem them in FIFA 23 when EA end up pushing them out. But that'll be just a great pack to have in the early game for fodder. Again, we've talked about that many times already. So not expecting a crazy day on Friday today, of course. We're going to keep the videos rolling on the channel. Mix of FIFA 22 and FIFA 23 content looking ahead to 22. But also, it's really important to look back on FIFA 22 as well and kind of what we have learned. So we're gonna be looking back a little bit for a couple videos coming up on the channel and just talking about what a year it's been, what we've learned and you know some of the stuff that really shocked us at the beginning of FIFA 22. It's kind of good to remember those things as we head into FIFA 23 so that we're not surprised once again. So just be ready for more of those preparation type videos coming soon on the channel. So if you enjoyed today's upload, hit the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions or comments. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate the Foot Account. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.